Unit 3, Far and Away, pages 34 and 35. 1. Listen and Discuss. Certainly, travel is more than the seeing of sights. It is a change that goes on, deep and permanent, in the ideas of living. Miriam Beard Vogts Jules Undersea Lodge, Florida, USA Undoubtedly, most people have never been to a hotel like Jules Undersea Lodge before. This extremely unusual hotel, located in Key Largo, Florida, is on the ocean floor. Guests scuba dive to the hotel's one unit, which is over 19 feet 6 meters below the surface. The unit includes two bedrooms, a television, and a 50-inch, 107-centimeter, circular window that offers views of passing sea life. Capsule Hotels Throughout Japan In recent years, capsule hotels have gained widespread popularity in Japan. Capsule hotels are hotels in which guests stay in a small sleeping space that is just big enough for a bed. There is so little room that some people can scarcely sit up in these capsules. However, in expensive cities, capsule hotels offer a relatively inexpensive alternative to more traditional hotels. Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel, Manaus, Brazil Ariao Amazon Towers Hotel in Manaus, Brazil is the world's largest commercial treehouse. Amazingly, Ariao's towers are built at the level of the rainforest treetops, about 72 feet, 22 meters, in the air. The towers are linked together by four miles, six kilometers, of wooden catwalks. This very unusual setting gives guests the unique opportunity to experience the plant and animal life of the rainforest canopy while leaving the rainforest's ecosystem undisturbed. The Coxlautenen Hotel, Lapland, Finland. In the heart of Finnish Lapland, 155 miles, 250 kilometers, North of the Arctic Circle lies a truly magical place. The Coxlautenen Hotel offers guests the opportunity to stay overnight in either a snow or glass igloo. Those who choose the glass igloos can enjoy the night skies and the stunning northern lights from the comfort of their own bed. Luckily, the hotel provides cozy, extra warm sleeping bags for the guests who choose to sleep in snow igloos.